How's it going everybody? It's Warren and welcome back to my channel, The Cosmic Wonder, where we talk about all things Marvel and everything relating to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And today we have some pretty great news concerning Spider-Man 3 and the WandaVision series. Now, ever since back in April when COVID-19 and this whole pandemic started, Marvel Studios has had to push all of their Phase 4 projects back. And pretty much all of Phase 4 has been delayed at this time, with the exception of one project, which we'll talk about in this video, but it's about time that we got some good news because it seems like every week Marvel Studios is delaying at least one project or another. But today we're actually going to talk about some pretty good changes that Marvel Studios is making good for them and good for the fans. And that actually includes rearranging their original Phase 4 slate to where it was in the first place. But don't worry, the stories will still connect and still make sense. And I'll break it all down in this video, but first, if you're new, be sure to subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss any video concerning the MCU. And so you can enter this week's giveaway for a chance to win a Hawkeye Funko Pop. All you got to do to enter, subscribe, like this video, and leave a comment about the video down below. So like I said, we have two bits of news today, one concerning Spider-Man 3 and one concerning the WandaVision series, and we'll kick it off with Spider-Man 3 news. Now, some of you may heard that Spider-Man 3 got its release date changed, and this is true, but I'm going to explain why it's actually good. You see, most of the delays that have happened to the Phase 4 lineup because of COVID-19 have been due to either production delays on the studio side or due to theater not reopening. But in our case with Spider-Man 3, it's actually a strategic decision made by Marvel Studios and Sony together. Yesterday at Comic-Con Home, Disney announced that Avatar 2, which originally had the December 17th, 2021 spot, got delayed. It got pushed back, but Spider-Man is going to be taking that spot. Now, Spider-Man 3 was originally scheduled for November 5th of 2021, a month before this new date. So yes, it did get pushed back a month. But here's why Sony and Marvel did this. It is now a Christmas release. And due to the fact that it's coming out on Christmas, it's almost a guarantee that it's a billion dollar movie. Spider-Man Far From Home was the first Spider-Man film to make a billion dollars. And the fact that Spider-Man 3 is going to be on Christmas pretty much guarantees that it'll do the same. So that's why they made this decision to postpone Spider-Man 3 a month. It wasn't due to the fact that there are problems with production or Tom Holland is getting caught up filming Uncharted. It's simply a strategic move and Spider-Man 3 is still set to tentatively begin filming in September, which means we should be getting a relative amount of information about Spider-Man 3 starting in September, including the title. And following that, the teaser trailer probably at the beginning of 2021, either February or March. So yes, it did get pushed back a month, but it's good news because it's going to help the movie do really, really well in the theaters, and it didn't get pushed back because of any production delays. And then the other great news is about WandaVision and the fact that it is still actually set for a 2020 release date. Last weekend was a pretty confusing time for the WandaVision series. First, Deadline reported that WandaVision was scheduled for October, which was actually a typo that they fixed to say December. But then The Hollywood Reporter came out and said that the show was delayed until spring of 2021. However, as it turns out, this was incorrect and they have since then corrected their story. In their article, when they corrected it, they said other shows include WandaVision later in 2020, Loki in spring of 2021, and then the Hawkeye series. So the great news is that the WandaVision series has not been delayed and is still hopeful for the December spot. Now this would probably mean that the WandaVision series may be the first Phase 4 project that we see. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier has been delayed plenty of times and they haven't finished their filming yet, whereas WandaVision has finished all their filming. And given this fact, and given the fact that the Falcon and the Winter Soldier series continuously gets delayed, WandaVision is most likely going to be the first Phase 4 project that we see. Now, some of you have asked me, how will this affect the continuity of the MCU and the timeline? And the answer is, it won't. Marvel Studios won't release the WandaVision series before the Falcon and the Winter Soldier if it's going to mess anything up as far as the timeline with the MCU. So either the WandaVision series isn't going to reference the events of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, or they'll simply just do a little bit of editing and fix anything that might have referenced the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. But hopefully things get rolling soon for the Falcon and the Winter Soldier and we don't get too much 
much of a delay on their part anymore. But the great news is that the WandaVision series should still be coming in December, and it's already filmed, so their delays should be pretty rare at this point since they're pretty much just editing and they're doing that remotely right now. So hopefully this sticks and we'll actually be getting the WandaVision series in December right after the Black Widow movie. So great news for Marvel Studios today. Let me know what you think about this news in the comments down below. And let me know if you'd like to see the WandaVision series or the Falcon and the Winter Soldier series first. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to stay up to date on all things relating to the MCU. For live updates, you can follow me on Twitter. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.